Hi everyone, Lyndon here. In this video, I'll be building a quadcopter propulsion tester. So follow me along. In this quadcopter configuration, four motors are driven by a four-channel AAC. Pulse wave modulation signals are then sent by the autopilot on each of the channels to control the motor speed. You can do this with a mission planner. But there are instances when one or all motors don't work and you have to figure out if it's the autopilot, parameter settings, corrupted firmware, or even the AEC. We can bypass most of the suspects by using an Arduino to generate pulse wave modulation signals and directly injecting it to the AEC. For this build, we will be using an Arduino Nano. We will be using pins D5, D6, D9, D10, and ground for our signals. Here is the wiring illustration. Also, we'll be using the connector that came with the speed controller. We then solder the wires according to the diagram. Here I solder D5 and D6. followed by D9 and D10. Last is the ground. We then hot glue the wires for extra support. To program the Arduino, we need to open up the Arduino IDE and choose the Arduino Nano. We also need to choose the right COM port. Here I'm using COM5. We then need to install the servo library. We'll be calling our functions from this library. After installing, check that the library is installed. Also check the servo examples. I customized my code based on these two examples. now for the code. First, we need to include the servo file to link our commands to the library. Here we create servo objects for each channel A, B, C, and D. We then create four integers for each channel and give them an initial value of zero. This will be used for the initial speed of the motors. Here we create another set of integers to store map values. For the setup, we will attach the four objects to their corresponding pins which are 5, 6, 9, and 10. 
we also set the min and maximum pulse width to 1000 and 2000 microseconds respectively. We then map the initial values and store them on our data integers. These map values will then be sent as pulse wave modulation signals, in this case zero speed since A, B, C and D are zero. We then give a delay of 3 seconds before the main program starts. For the main program, we assign a value of 512 to channel A. This will run the motor half the full speed. We then map the value so it will be converted to its corresponding pulse wave modulation signal and then sent. We will run the motor A for 3 seconds and then stop the motor with a zero value. We then give a delay of 2 seconds before the next motor spins. We repeat the codes for motors B, C, and D. The last step is to run all the motors simultaneously. These are basically the same codes, we just copy them and run them at the same time. Lastly, we compile the codes and upload to our Arduino. For testing, we power up the AC. We then plug the signal wires. Plug the Arduino to any power source and the program will automatically run. This test will forever loop until power is cut on either side. Now if you want to go further and have more control over the test, you can create another program on your PC to talk serially with your Arduino. In my case, I modified the Arduino code to accommodate serial communication with my PC. I also created a Java program complete with sliders and buttons for convenience. Here after connecting to the Arduino, a message will pop up as a reminder to remove the props. There are sliders to test the motors individually. Or you could run them in sequence after keying in the throttle, duration of the spin, and how many times the test cycles.
Thank you guys for watching.